Hey yo what's up, Maji here and welcome to a special double shot reaction here on this channel. And well, it's because we are reacting to both G22 and Beanie on Show It All China. Now I'm not quite sure of the specifics of Show It All China. I gather that they invite international groups to compete against their trainees so that the trainees can uh, see what they're up against and then try to um, either match or beat the standards that the international group set. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong or add any details if you want to help explain uh, the format of Show It All China. All I know uh, is that uh, the performances of G22 and Beanie on this show were highly praised. And so yeah. Uh, this has been a long time coming. I actually saw this like start popping up on my feed around April or May earlier this year. And well, now we're finally here. So we are starting things off with G22 and we're going to be seeing Boomerang, Bang, and Babalik. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm watching the stage compilations from Mango TV. So yeah, credits to that channel. Anyways, let's get started and yeah, here we go first with G22. Ooh, <laughs> cool look there. Oh, bang. That's what they're starting with. Ooh. I like their outfits. So that was more of an intro. You G22 Boomerang, Oh wait, we're going to Boomerang now. Also, Bang was just an intro, really. Really just an intro. Okay. Strong intro. Boomerang. Whoa. Run and shoot! We are G22! I am Jazz! I'm Ophelia! And I'm AJ! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of reminded by Luna Shake It from Queendom 2. But this is all red and black. This is 
Mm, that's so always so good. They're always so good at bringing the power and the fierceness. Power in the atmosphere. Are those the trainees? Always gotta love Boomerang. Like, I feel like Alfea is such a nice solid center for that song. Babalik. Such a nice flow. Good low tone from AJ there.
the control here. Okay, uh, so those were the uh, stage performances of G22 on Show It All China. And one thing you can count on with G22 is that they have really good live stage performances. And uh, so uh, let's go in, uh, go in order for these. So with Bang. They showed a little bit of a clip of uh, the MV of Bang at the starting, and it's like, oh, Bianca. And then, uh, well, yeah, we saw a little snippet of Bianca there. But um, the intro using Bang uh, kind of like heralded what the expectation is gonna be for G22 like they they always have this uh, this very strong like energy this power when they're live on stage and they yeah that that was a great intro uh, uh, which really set up like the the uh, performances to come. And then with Boomerang, uh, we got more of that awesome power, the the personality, the swag. I really really like uh, Boomerang in the discography of uh, G Twenty Two. I feel like that's. Uh, where we get like a nice like selection and variety of vocals from all of the members well not so much the variety but like you get snippets here and there of them like doing various things that that inject uh, these bits of personality into the song especially with with uh, AJ sports you can see where she's like uh, like playing around with the delivery of her lyrics and it comes out so great and then yeah like for for most of the song or well, most of this particular performance uh, with Boomerang we have Alfea as the solid center which is really really wonderful because I, I like I really like when Alfea goes into her like mid-range vocals uh, mid-range to lower vocals and then we have uh, AJ on one side delivering like the 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 swag and personality in her vocals, and then Jazz on the other side with the with the runs and the belts, and it's just like that. That's a really good trio. And 
And then we have the Babalik performance where oh for that one Jazz was the the highlight really. Especially when she went into the various runs that she did. What was amazing about those runs is that they were controlled. I think I also mentioned this when I reacted to the MV for Babalik. But there, there's a control there. She's not just like belting it out willy-nilly. She's controlling it. She's pacing herself. And of course, like, you also have to go with the emotional tone of the song. Where, yes, uh, it's it's a it's sort of like crying out but there's this element of vulnerability to it so it shouldn't be uh too loud or too belty so i think jazz captured that really really well so yeah uh those were amazing performances by G22 here on Show It All China. I I assume like the 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 cuts where we saw like other people reacting. I think, uh, well, the guy would probably be like the host or something like that, and then the other girls that we saw were the the Chinese trainees. Yeah, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still not quite sure on the. How show it all China works exactly, but yeah, I think those were the trainees who were supposed to like, uh, like learn from these international acts and like are supposed to try to uh, match them or top them or something like that. So yeah, uh, wonderful performances from G22. Now let's move on to the beanie performances here on show it all china so let me just switch that there and yeah let's get right to it this is going to be pantropico i feel good and carrera so yeah here we beanie <laughs> very different vibe already No, they're starting with I Feel Good. Is this their intro? That's the intro yeah. of Bean. Oh, we're starting with Carrera for the actual, like, the longer performance. The stage mixing is a bit weird. Okay, I think I get what they're doing. We'll talk about it later.
Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely see what they're doing. It's very different. This is really good. Expressions from Mika. something amazing here I'll explain later well not like it's expected from this <laughs> it's not new but still amazing I will explain why it why it sounds weird later. Later, later. We'll 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 go through Pantropica first. 有请Dini带来 Pantropico 范热带 Are they going to do it here as well though? I think they're doing it here as well. a difference though in the track. I mean like compared to Carrera.
Wow. <laughs> I'm just really getting sucked in by the song. Register from Colette. Mm. The adlibs from Gwen. That was really sweet. Okay, here we go. Um, there's gonna be some comparison going on, but it's just a comparison. I'm not really saying who's better or not. Anyways, they did something different with the beanie stages. Uh, some people are, which some people might be confused by some people might not like uh, it sounded it would sound a bit weird especially to the lay person and uh, well we didn't get it in I feel good I think we just had a normal track on I feel good but what happened with Carrera and Pantropico is that I think okay I'm not a I'm not a sound engineering expert here but I think they removed the the vocal MR. They left the backing the backing vocals though. So wh wherever there's backing vocals in the track, uh, that's still there. Like we got a bit more of that in Pantropico. Not so much in Carrera though. But yeah, the 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 main vocal MR they took it away and. Uh, which is a uh, yeah quite different from the G22 stages. So with the G22 stages, you could see you could hear that the vocal MR is still there, because there are times when G22 has to focus on their dance a bit more, and so they stop singing, but the vocal MR keeps playing. Understandable. And you can still tell naman when when. G22 is doing the singing because uh, like they uh, uh, they're able to sing with enough energy and power to like you know like that when they are the ones singing they are overpowering the 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 vocal MR behind them is that the correct term? <laughs> But here with Beanie, I guess Beanie is more of a vocal focus group compared to G22 who has like, who goes, probably goes hard, harder hitting on the dance moves. Um, yeah, they focus more on Beanie's vocals by removing the vocal MR. So you can like really hear 
their raw vocals in this one uh, for Carrera and Pantropico and yeah yeah you can catch those moments where uh, they're slightly out of breath or uh, someone delivers a line that's a bit short because they ran out of breath but uh, nothing too major they're all just minor things that you can pick up on if you listen carefully but what's so great about that is that you can see that they can carry the song even without the vocal MR that's what's really 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 good about that that uh, the way they did the the, the stage mixing is that <coughs> they showcase that yeah Beanie can do these vocals without the help of any vocal MR at least I think that's what's happening right like that that's why it kind of sounds weird to me because you it feels like there's a bit more air in the song like the the stage audio mixing is not doesn't feel as uh, smooth or as solid as the g22 audio stage stage audio mixing something like that and I think that's the reason for it but yeah like Beanie was able to carry uh, both Carrera and Pantropico uh, not much problem at all uh, you just catch minor bits of breath here and there but it's not, not really mistakes uh, just, just parts where uh, you feel like they breathe funny a little bit but it's it's amazing that they're able to pull that off well part of it as uh, also is that uh, they didn't go all out in the dancing I think they kind of did like the the standard uh, dance at 80% that Actually, it felt a bit more like 70%. Uh, just so that they can... <coughs> just so that they can conserve their... Uh, well, uh, regulate their breath control more easily. So that they can uh, sing more stably. Right? Uh, G22 didn't need to do that because they had vocal MR so they were able to bit, go a bit more all out on the dance especially for Boomerang right uh, but since B for Beanie the, 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 the audio mixing for the stage was like that they, they had to pull back on the dance a bit to concentrate a little bit more on their vocals So yeah, uh, two different ways of doing things, but both groups gave amazing performances nonetheless. Anyways, with Beanie, like, I really, really love their vocals, especially like in this one. I think I'm liking Aya's vocals more and more each time I hear them. Like, I feel like uh, we're seeing, like, uh, just, just, I, I notice the, the uniqueness of IS vocals more, like, especially with, with the, the, these performances. And, yeah, it's so good. Now, uh, what else was I going to say? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
they did leave in the backing vocals though so like you, you hear a lot more of that in pantropico so you, there's still the backing vocals the ones that go like oh 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 like uh, while they're singing so at least there's still that so it the the music feels a bit more fuller uh, sorry a bit fuller when it comes to pantropico compared to carrera But yeah, that's that's just uh, me trying to to hash out what's going on with the stage audio. But performance-wise, yeah, I can see why both G22 and Beanie were highly praised on Show It All China. And uh, like I believe, like this is one of those. Uh, places where uh, the the careers of both groups were like started to be enhanced even more. Like I know, I, I I'm not sure, but is this G22's first time performing on an international stage? Uh, if anyone knows, please. Uh, enlighten me in the comment section down below. For Beanie, I know this is not their first time performing on an on an international stage, but uh, this might have been their first time performing on an international stage when they were starting uh, uh, starting to uh, to blow up internationally, right? Because it was with Pantropico, I, I believe that. Uh, they started getting more international recognition, right? And around around this time, especially with the release of Salamin Salamin, uh, when was Salamin Salamin released? <laughs> I can't quite remember if it was released before or after this. But yeah, around this time, like. Uh, they really started to gain traction internationally. Because Pantropico was a hit in international circles, I believe, because of TikTok, right? But Salamin Salamin, I think, solidified that... Uh, the, solidified the momentum that Beanie had. And then uh, performances like this, like Show It All China, are what, like... Uh, Are also like a way to show international fans what, uh, well, what these groups like are, are like on stage, or what they are like performing live, right? So both both for Beanie and for G twenty G twenty two, and so I think for G twenty two this was, uh, also the 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 breakthrough point where they started gaining more popularity as well well for me <laughs> that that actually applies for me because uh seeing uh seeing the, uh the them pop up on my feed because of show at all china is what alerted me to g22 in the first place before that i had no idea of the existence of g22 but I'm really so glad I started doing like this journey on G22 here on this channel and just like exploring uh, their music, exploring their uh, discography and yeah it's it's been a really good ride, a really wonderful ride and of course we have Beanie uh, which is well started to represent the Philippines even more internationally. I believe they they were, they were at KCON recently. I haven't watched any of those yet. I am not caught up to Beanie. I, I, I was actually, I'm actually more of a uh, casual when it comes to Beanie because like I did start to follow Beanie 
before this channel was even created. That's why I don't have other reactions up for Beanie because they, they would not be first time reactions. But I was following Beanie even back in pre-debut era when the only thing they had out was the Coconut Nut. Like, I even had my students watch the Coconut Nut. <laughs> And that was pre-debut. Born to Win wasn't even out yet then. Like, I don't really like it when people say like, oh, this this group is better than the other uh, when it comes... To, uh, um, especially here in the P-pop scene because it's... This is closer to our hearts because like... I'm Filipino and... I am proud of these groups because they are from my country. And we should be supporting them, especially as they are starting to represent us internationally. Both for Beanie and G22 and for other groups that are starting to... Uh, that are also uh, gaining international attention. Uh, like, you know, SB19... Alamat Horizon and yeah uh, like who can even compare G22 and Beanie they are so different from each other right like of course people are gonna like one over the other that's gonna be a fact of life because people have their preferences some people might be more into Girl Crush. Some people might be more into, like, uh, the sweet type of stuff. That's fine, right? But to try to push that one is better than the other. <laughs> They're all talented. They're all in the process of becoming better and better. More so each day. There's always room for improvement. But they're already great. That's what's important to remember when it comes to all of our uh, groups here in the Philippines. So yeah, just wanted to say that. Anyways, I think that's it for my reaction to these performances from G22 and Beanie on Show It All China. Uh, really amazing. I get why uh, people are so excited uh, about, well, these particular set of performances. Like, th this has been recommended to me like a number of times, and uh, I've seen them being recommended to other actors as well. And yeah, uh, yeah, it's just wonderful that. Uh, we have groups from the Philippines now that are able to uh, to represent us and uh, not just represent us but like give such a good showing on these international stages and for that yeah we should take pride in them as Filipinos so that's it uh we'll wrap this up right here so don't forget to like comment and subscribe also feel free to check out my patreon where i also post reactions to longer form content more casual content most of which is available for free you can probably see the titles pop up here on the side there's also some bonus perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe such as access to my k-drama and anime reactions which, incidentally, you can also access for free for 7 days, as that is tier 1 of my Patreon, and it has a 7-day free trial, so you might want to, well, try that out. Also, higher tiers of my Patreon get various levels of early access, depending on the tier, as well as priority when it comes to recommendations. But don't get too fussed about all that, like I said, most of the stuff on my Patreon is available for free, so don't be afraid to check it out. The link to my Patreon is in the description down below, as well as a link to a spreadsheet where you can more easily navigate 
and access the said free content on my Patreon. So you might want to start with that first. The link to that is also in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful and amazing journey with G22 and Beanie. Until next time, have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.